Hey guys, I'm going to make a quick video showing how I do uh, the 50,000 mile Cadillac Escalade Tahoe Yukon um, service. And this applies to these vehicles that were made between 2015 and 2019, or even 2020. Except in 2019, they switched the Cadillac Escalade to a 10 speed transmission which I'm not quite sure if it has as many problems as the 8 speed, but theoretically you're supposed to change the fluid out at 50,000 miles. I have other videos showing that you actually need to do that interval longer. Anyway, I'm going to probably briefly go through the automatic transmission fluid change. I will be using the newest Generation 3 Mobile One LV ATFHP. But on this video, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to go through the front differential change, the rear differential change, the transfer case, um, <clears throat> and I will check the brakes. Uh, I might go ahead and change uh, all four brakes, pads, and rotors. So um, I'm gonna try to edit this video down to be a little bit shorter than normal. Some, you know, I, it's not fun watching a 50 minute video of me doing all this stuff. So uh, it'll be just be a brief synopsis of everything. I have a video on this procedure. So just check out my YouTube channel and then find the video. It's a very in de detailed, in-depth video with better camera angles that teaches you how to do this. But I've done this so many times, I just don't want to make another be redundant. This is a 2017 Cadillac Escalade, by the way, with the 8 speed transmission. part usually the 12 to 24 hour process so I'm just gonna let it evacuate and I'll come back tomorrow morning um, put drop the pan take the filter out put everything back together fill the pan back up uh, and then move on to the front differential then the transfer case in the rear okay so this is a transfer case I'm gonna go ahead and drain it all right so this is the drain bolt and the fill bolt they're both a uh, 18 millimeter socket First, remove the fill bolt. Then remove the drain bolt. And this is dirty. Look at that magnet. I don't know if you can see this, but that is all metal shavings. It's real bad. This fluid's Dextron 6. So that's readily available, but oh my goodness. I can get that on camera. Did you see that? All those spiky things is metal shavings. Dang. So after it's done dripping, you're going to take the bottom fill port, fill plug, and put it in. It's the one with the magnet. Doo, doo, doo. And it's 13 foot pounds. Very, very, very small amount of force. Take one of these, Dextron 6, a little transfer tubing. You just go ahead and fill it until it comes out. It's 1.6 quarts, but I just fill it until a little dribble comes out. Let me clear this tube out really quick.
There you go. So some starting to dribble out. It's about 1.6. So you're good there. You can take it out. Go ahead and plug that top one back up. To get the front differential, you got to remove this cover. 10 millimeter bolts and 15. Here's the front differential. This is the drain bolt, this is the fill bolt. So we're first going to remove this fill bolt. I believe it's an 18 millimeter hex. And then this will be a just a simple, um, I believe it's a, a 3 8 square socket. So let me grab those real quick. So you're going to want to first loosen the, um, the fill port. Oh man, that one's on there tight. Oh man, this is on there tight. Jeez. Oh, wow, there we go. Go ahead and loosen this. in there. That came off real easy. Okay. Twist. This is going to be really dirty, I bet, and it's going to have a lot of shavings on this tip, this bolt here. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so insane. I got to take a picture of this for you guys. Wow, this is this is worse than the the transfer case. My gosh, look at that! I don't know if the camera is capturing that. That's terrible. All these metal shavings. Look at that hole. Oh, it's like thick as gunk. Oh my God. Check that out. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. Look how thick that is. Oh my gosh. All oh, that metal shaving. Oh my goodness. Okay, so once it's done dripping, go ahead and reinstall the drain plug. Torque it to 24 foot pounds. All right, and you're going to need. AC Delco Synthetic Axle Lubricant 75W90GL5. You get a transfer pump. And just go ahead and pump in there until some starts coming out.
I'm gonna drop the camera here. There we go. There we go, just a little dribble out, and then we're done. Just a little bit. Alrighty, then reinstall the fill port plug and torque it to 24 foot pounds as well. There we go. That is that. And of course, reinstall your cover. Let's go ahead and move to the uh, rear differential fluid change. Okay, so the rear differential fluid, it's a clamshell, and there was actually no drain port. Uh, normally, if I have more time, I actually remove this entire shell right here, take it out, use napkins, and clean the inside of the metal shavings. But in this case, I'm just going to do a I'm just going to evacuate the fluid with my fluid evacuator. I'm just going to remove this, evacuate it, and fill it. Uh, the more thorough way is to take the entire clamshell off and then, you know, obviously clean it out and then put it back together. But in this case, I'm just going to do a quick and easy way. Remove this, evacuate the fluid, and replace it with new fluid. Simple. See some metal, a little bit of metal shavings on there. From sloshing around when you're driving. Or get a transfer pump and fill it up with the rear axle lubricant and this is different from the front axle lubricant. It's a different weight, so just make sure you add the right GM part number.
and my other video that teaches you how to lower this exhaust pipe. Basically, you just use a jack and place it on this corner here. Face the knob out. There you go. So you can start jacking up. That's going to allow you to lower this exhaust pan just enough. I mean, this exhaust pipe just enough to remove the pan. Some people use ratchet straps and they use ratchet straps to pull the exhaust pipe down, but I just choose to use the jack, so totally up to you. I'll start with that for now, and if it's not enough, we'll go ahead and jack up more. So I'm going to start removing the screws from the pan. So a new filter, and this there's this little thing right here, pig in that lines up with this hole. So don't forget that. There we go. That's it. Pops right in. Let's go clean the pan.
After I sucked out the residual fluid from the pan, you can see that about six and a half liters came out. So I'm going to go ahead and add seven to start off with. And then we'll do the fluid check and we'll drain if there's excess and we'll add if there's uh, too little. So. so I have seven liters or seven quarts, close, cl very close to seven liters. Um, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. It's about, it's almost 6.2 uh, it's about 6.2 liters because everyone's 50 milliliters shy. So I'll go grab another one. Let me go grab another one. I can pour out. Well, I hate to waste these. These are very expensive. I really hate to waste them. But maybe I'll pour half of another bottle in there, just for safe measure, and then I can let the excess drain out. Because about six and a half came out. Six and a half liters, not quarts. So six and a half liters. So that would be probably right on the money, but let's just go, I'm gonna grab another bottle. So here's the drain bolt for the oil. There's a filter. This one's not that difficult.
just finished washing the car. Uh, everything's done, put back together. So, I hope this helps you guys um, do some basic maintenance. 50,000 uh, 50, mile maintenance on a 2015 through 2020 Cadillac Escalade GMC Yukon in uh, Chevrolet Tahoe. Um, that concludes um, this little mini series. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you need any questions answered. I'll be glad to try to help you out in the comments section below. Thanks.